What's up guys, Will here, and today I finally have my Ryzen build I've been talking about. This took me a long time to get out just because when I pre-ordered it, I got the 1800X, and but I coupled it with the Asus Hero Crosshair Hero board, which I heard was having a lot of problems at launch, so I canceled that pre-order. Um, and unfortunately, a, a lot of the motherboards that I wanted to use or would consider using were on back order. So finally, found the MSI uh, Carbon X370, Gaming Pro motherboard. Um, hopefully I've heard some good things about this. Uh, I know they've been pushing out new firmwares for the boards like daily. So hopefully we don't have any issues. But pretty excited to use this board. And then sticking in that, like I said, we're using the Ryzen 7 1800X. Uh, 3.6 gigahertz base clock. It boosts to 4. Point, yeah, 4 gigahertz. Um, I've heard a lot of people have success with uh, overclocking the base clock to 4 gigahertz. So hopefully uh, we can do that also. Uh, the case, like I said in my past video, is the Corsair Crystal RX 460X RGB. Um, I really did like the uh, the case in the past build. Um, I did add uh, or pick up an SP120 RGB fan for the exhaust to kind of add some more lighting, and then two RGB LED strips. Just to, I wanted to probably do a two tone color scheme in there. Um, for graphics power, I pulled my MSI GTX 1080 out of my other rig, and then for RAM, I got G-Skill Trident Z RGB, uh, 32 gigs worth. Um, this RAM is pretty cool. Uh, the other RAM in my past build only lit up to white, so it really wasn't RGB, it was just LED color. But uh, pretty excited to use this. I think we can get the software to control what this does, so again, that'll probably match the two-tone scheme that I'm doing. And then... For storage, we're using the Corsair MX300, or Crucial MX300, sorry, 1TB M.2 drive. Nothing special, kind of a budget M.2. Um, and then for cooling, the Liquid AIO CPU cooler, I got the H110i. Uh, I picked this up over the V2 because this out of the box is compatible with the AMD uh, chipset in terms of the brackets that come with it. And then lastly, we have the EVGA Supernova 1000 watt G2 power supply. Definitely overkill, but uh, this thing I got for a great price. And, you know, I said, why not over, you know, probably something like an 850 power supply or watt power supply that I would usually pick up. But in the future, if I do keep this rig, um, I'll probably slap another 1080 in there. So pretty excited about this build. Uh, not only, I know it's been catching a lot of grief for gaming, but I'm going to definitely prove that this thing can game and, you know, maybe have a little FPS differences, but I truly do believe that's due to the optimization. And that kind of lies both on AMD's part and the developer's part of these games we're playing. But more than that, I want to see how it is for productivity, such as uh, encoding video, uh, video editing, um, and rendering and stuff like that. And then another thing that uh, I really wanted to start doing, and probably will pick up again, it seems like I pick it up every few months, is the stream on a daily basis. So with this with, with this build, the uh, 1800X, it has 8 cores, 16 threads, um, which is the CPU is usually always the bottleneck when trying to stream, just because it, it takes so much uh, processing power to encode that video and shoot it out there. So this should have no issue, and that's one of the main benchmarks I'm going to be doing. So with that said, I think I covered everything, so let's build this thing. Alrighty guys, so the cut a snaggle of the build, 
Basically, I ordered a Corsair H110 like a dummy, and that carries 280 millimeter fans, which is a problem with this case because you can't mount the radiator to the top because the RAM modules get in the way. So the plan was, same as the past build, was to mount the radiator, radiator to the SP120 fans in the case. So there's two of them, so 240 millimeters. Um, so I had to return the Corsair H110 and pick up the Corsair H100. Hopefully this can work so I can then make use of these fans. Attach the radiator in there. So as you can see, just a quick build before I stick anything more in there. The cable management in this is a lot better. You can see here that it's still, I mean, there's no room for that drive bay to go back in. But uh, all in all, with this cooler in there that should be it and we can uh, get this thing up and running so without further ado let's get back to the build Guys, more issues. So after the water cooler uh, or liquid cooler I uh, put in, I obviously finished the build, wrapped it up, went to boot it up, and it would not post. Uh, I swapped out the RAM, swapped out a different video card, power supply, nothing. So chalked it up to being a bad motherboard. Yes, I should have probably tested it before I put it in there, but realistically, I don't do that anymore. Um, maybe I'll learn my next or learn for the next time, but uh, I think it turned out to be the best. I did have to exchange the board, and I picked up the Aorus AX370 Gaming 5 motherboard. Um, pretty happy with this build or this motherboard. I did not uh, do the time lapse on it, so you're not going to see any more of that. I mean, putting a computer together is putting it together. Uh, I don't need to show it off twice, especially after all the annoyances we've had with this build. So. I think uh, you'll be pretty uh, pretty pleased with the end product. Uh, I know I am. I went with the two-tone uh, color build that I said, um, and I think the RGB definitely is a pretty good fit with this case. So without further ado, let's uh, take a look at what I'm calling the Joker build. Okay, so as you guys can see, green and purple color scheme. That's why I'm calling it the Joker build. I personally love how this thing turned out. Uh, the build was a pain in the butt due to me ordering the wrong liquid cooler, which was my bad, as well as the MSI carbon board being dead out of the box. Uh, added a couple uh, days onto the build time, but I really do think the Aorus board I picked up is perfect due to the R all the RGB lights on it. It really adds more contrast between the green and the purple. Um, I really did want to get the benchmark and overclocking done for this video, so I do apologize, but due to the time constraints and everything, I'm just not able to do it this week. So be sure to plan on seeing it next week. Also, shout out to my sister who was able to get me some decals, the Joker face, the ha 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 decal, and I have two black strips on the left and right side to hide some things. So all in all, really happy with how this thing turned out. Alrighty, so that's going to be it for me today, guys. I will definitely get you the benchmarking overclock uh, stati stats and information next week for that video. But really happy with how the build came out. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on this or something you want to see for next week, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, please do not leave without leaving a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel for more upcoming builds and stuff along that, you know, overall technology, I think I'm going to be getting a couple peripherals uh, in the near future to uh, kind of give reviews on. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one.